So this is the first in a series of videos that I'm doing showing you how to use Magic 3D Easy View Visualizer with uh, QLC Plus. So this first video will be about setting up your stage in the vi visualizer. Um, so I'm going to start Magic 3D. Now when it starts, one of the first things comes up with it, it asks you to set up your universe. Um, if you have trouble with this program starting, which I did originally when I was starting a couple times, and if I had ArtNet selected, it wouldn't start. But if I unselected ArtNet and just left this blank and said OK, it would start. So if you are having any difficulty with the program starting, try that. Um, later on, I did select this and I wasn't having issues, but just to let you know if that's a problem, try that and see how it works. All right, so we open it up, program starts. We're with a blank slate here, nothing has been done. First thing we're going to want to do is stage settings. We're in construction mode. I click on stage settings. Uh, we can take a look at the size. So my stage is 8 meters wide. It's 4 meters high and it's 8 meters deep. Uh, you can set this to whatever your stage dimensions are going to be. Uh, you can also do it in feet. So 8 meters is approximately 26.25 feet. You can see so it's 26 feet wide, 26 feet deep, and we have a height of about 13.12 feet. I'm going to leave it set to meters. Now the other thing you can do is you can colorize your ceiling, walls, floors. Um, I pretty much leave the walls in place until I'm done creating and then I eliminate them because the stage I work on is basically open. There's audiences to the side. So I just get rid of it, but it is helpful when you're setting the stage to kind of leave the walls in place and you'll see why in the later tutorials. Um, if you want to do something with the floor, you can color it. Uh, right now it says all, no texture, but I can select over here, I can select ground. And then I can select color, and you can do this color and it'll change it to that color. Uh, one of the cool things about the floor, if you want to, too, is um, I'll do black for the time being, but I'll just do... Uh, ground, no texture, I'm, excuse me, ground, and instead of saying no texture, I'll uncheck the no texture box, go to here, and you can select, I'm going to go to my desktop, and I have some texture files set up for like web pages, I'm going to go to my wallpaper, and I'm going to select cobblestone, say open, and I'll ask if you want to save that to the file so it's in there, and then you can actually put in a texture floor if you want to, so, um, like I said, the rest of this, I would just leave this in place. Later on, after you're done, I can remove the walls by simply going to left and saying no wall, no left wall, and then right and saying no wall there. And if you wanted to, you could actually take out the back wall too. But for the time being, I'm going to leave my left and uh, right wall in because it just helps with placing objects on the stage. And um, that's pretty much all there is to uh, setting up the stage. Uh, a little bit of navigation here. When you are navigating around, be careful. Anything that you click on becomes a editable. But if you click with your left mouse, you can tilt and rotate. Just have to keep an eye on where you are. And if you've lost where you actually are, like you've done this, and you say, well, guys, I don't remember I'm looking at the front or back or what I'm looking at. This is the back or the front. You can always go to camera view here and click on front view or top view or looking from the left, looking from the right, or looking from the back. So if you do kind of get yourself lost with the rotations and moving around, you can always go to camera view and get yourself set up and then go back to standard toolbar. Uh, rolling the mice, mouse wheel zooms in and out. Left mouse button rotates and pivots up and down. Right mouse button allows you to actually move around the stage. So it doesn't rotate it, but you're moved to a different position that you're viewing it from. So right click, press and hold the right mouse button and you can see it's kind of like walking past the object and looking at it from a different angle. Uh, left mouse button, hold that down if you want to rotate or pan up and down. Look at it from the top. You can actually even look at it from the bottom. 
Look at it from the left, look at it from the right. 